What's up, Plantitas and Plantitas? I'm Rosie of Rose Canary. Today, I'm going to show you how to have more plants in the most efficient and cheapest way, which is through propagation. If this is your first time on my channel, thank you for tuning in. And I have an Instagram account. You could follow me at roses underscore greenery. You could tag me with your plant photos anytime. I would love to see your houseplants. Also, if you want more good vibes through my houseplant videos, please do hit on that subscribe button. I upload videos once a week of uh, anything related to living a plant little life. Indoor plants, house plants, they have been trending for the past months or even the past couple of years. People have started putting greenery inside their homes and workplace because we now all understand that our surroundings can affect our wellness. And there's no doubt that seeing plants around us can help us feel more relaxed, calm, and even happy. However, as you know, once something becomes trendy, they also become expensive. And believe me, once you get a plant, you'll want more. Next thing you know, you're already looking at your next target house plant in Instagram or Facebook, which really makes it more expensive as you want more. Hashtag urban jungle, hashtag plant addiction. And to achieve those hashtag jungle goals the cheaper way, we should learn how to propagate our houseplants. So today, I'm going to show you how to propagate six of my houseplants. Alright, so the first plant we'll propagate is my golden pothos. I have three pots of golden pothos and this one is the slowest grower among the three. So I've decided to propagate her so I can promote new growth on the other stems. As you can see, each leaf has developed their own roots. So the way to propagate this one is simply cut around the nodes and put them in water. You guys could also put the cuttings directly to soil. But for me, I want the roots to be longer before I transfer them to soil to make sure I have stronger growth. I'm using these test tube bottles from my propagation. I got this from Shopee. If you're interested, I'll put the link below. Oh, the bad, they look great. Next is my Syndaxus pictus or the Satin Pothos. This is a fast grower for me. I have her inside our bedroom but I also reward her with more bright light by putting her outside every other week. My dog Pepper, she grabbed this part of my Syndaxus. That's why there's no leaf in it but I see new growth in it. So I'll propagate this one. Same process with my photos, as you can see, she has developed roots as well. Simply cut it half inch beside the nodes. So these are the cuttings. And I'll try to get two more out of this. Just cut the stem. And you don't need this part because it's just rot lang siya pag nilagay siya sa water. All you need is the leaf and the nodes and the roots. That's it. Lagay mo lang sa water. Yeah, and then I'll get another one. Here, and then this one. Just remove the rest of the stem. I would also remove this leaf, para focus lang yung energy, yung new growth the rest of the stem and the rest of the other smaller leaves just remove the leaf now and then I'll put it her here pull on the water there oh the back cuenta It doesn't look that great now because wala siyang ibang leaves pero they should grow. <laughs> Next is one of my favorites, the philodendron micans. 
and I see that she also has aerial roots which means she's also easy to propagate same process, find a good location where to cut diba ang ganda niya with that golden brown velvety leaf so this is the cutting of my micans I won't remove this leaf since she is not that long enough and besides one, two, two nodes lang siya. So that should be enough. I'll put her here. There. Look, oh, di bangkit niya. All right, so next is my wandering Jew. I'm propagating her because I think she's sick. You'll notice uh, she's bald in the middle but has beautiful foliage underneath. I already repotted her and changed her soil. She has improved a little and developed more babies but I still want to propagate in case she won't make it. That's one more reason why I propagate your plants. At least uh, you don't have to buy another one in case something bad happens to the parent plant. She is really easy to take care of. One of the easiest to propagate as she also has aerial roots. You can stick the cuttings uh, directly to soil or put her in water and wait for bigger roots to come out. Next is my Philodendron Brazil. She has grown really well, although the variegation on her is not really that visible. So I thought of propagating her and see what happens if there's an improvement. Same process, you'll notice that she has grown aerial roots. Same thing, just cut between the nose and then put her in water. So here it is. Um, I'll try to produce three babies out of this. I'll just cut her here, uh, half inch. Same thing, get rid of the stems. You don't need that. Another one half inch after the note and then for this I'll just remove the stem so I thought um, I have three babies and put it in water ah it won't fit what I do the photos there Hindi kasha. Huwag mo na ipilit. Hindi nga kasha eh. Sama ko na lang siya dito. Sa syndapsis. Sa ating photos. Make sure nakalubog yung roots sa tubig ha. There! O diba? Apat na sila dyan. Kit nila. <laughs> Last houseplant I'm gonna propagate is my spider plant. I have two spider plants. This one, I think she's dying. Uh, little black ants have invaded her pot. It's already too late when I found out that there's ant community living there. I've tried getting rid of them in a natural way. I don't want to use pesticides or something else that would harm my plant. I tried putting cotton with vinegar, also putting in cinnamon bark. Anything that has a strong smell should force the ants to leave my plant alone. But it's too late. It didn't work. They even managed to kill one of the babies. Plus, it has lots of babies for me to propagate. So I'll just give up on her. As you can see, there are already eggs sticking on her stems. I'm not sure if there are ant eggs, but those are definitely not there before. I'll try to cut this part. Uh, the dulo. Okay. One, two, three, go! Look. Ang lakit na ng roots niya. So, madali itong i-propagate. Since, madami na siyang. Look. So, ayan. Before I put it directly to soil, I'm gonna have to wash away all the all the ants.
uh, remove lang natin yung ibang leaves na nasa ilalim. Kasi, once you put them in water, magra-rot sila. Taas. Ayan. Then, wash it in water para mawala yung ants. Look! Ayun na yung ants. O, tiba na tanggal. Effective. Meron pa ba? So, here they are. I have three pots in total. Uh, these are the two bigger babies. And then the rest of the smaller babies, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of smaller babies are in one pot. Um, since it is September, by December, they should have grown. And I'd probably give this to a planted friend, one of them, or two of them, probably. Ayan, we're done! So these are all the propagated babies, the golden pothos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six golden pozos, one philodendron Brazil. Actually, three philodendron Brazil. Um, the two are in this smaller uh, bottle. I have the wandering juice, three babies, the syndapsus pectus or the silver satin. One, two, three. Three babies here. And then one baby for the philodendron mycans. And then one, two, six plus two, eight babies for the spider plant. So tips to remember after you propagated your plants. Your new babies require more water and more bright light compared to their mother plant. You need to treat them with more care compared to how you treat the mother plant. So for example, this spider plant. Uh, prior propagation, uh, they were still dependent from their mother plant. And now, since I have propagated them and put them in their own soil, their own pot, uh, we should help them to acclimatize to their new condition. So since they still have little roots, you need to give them more water um, at least keep the soil moist so just imagine um, these babies they still have uh, short little roots if I treat this as like the mother plant which I water once a week this will dry out faster and the little roots won't be able to reach out for the moisture underneath so yeah, they will so you still have to train the baby roots to drink on their own that's why you need to keep lots of moisture on the same level as with the roots i tried to propagate a baby spider plant before put her directly in soil she survived for me for at least a month because i treated it like how i treat the mother plant once a week watering and ayun, hindi ko lang naisip na o oh, nga naman hindi ma-reach out nung uh, smaller roots yung moisture sa ilalim kapag once a week na watering lang so ito um, I'll spray this every day and make sure that um, she gets water at least every two to three days also one thing you need to remember you have to change the water once a week the plants have already absorbed the nutrients from the water plus iwas din kita tayo guys okay else magkakaroon ng kitikiti yung water nyo ayaw nyo na madaming namok diba also it may take time to develop longer roots for some of your babies for photos I think it takes around 2 to 3 weeks for them to produce uh, longer roots by that time, wait for at least 2-3 to three inches of roots to come out. Then you could transfer in soil or in their own pot. I have this wandering Jew which I have propagated 2 months ago or 2-3 to three months ago I guess. They have developed too much root system. So it would be too late for me if I transfer them in soil. They will have a difficult time to survive and that new medium since they've been in water for too long so i guess for this one i'll just leave her here so again do not wait too much long before you transfer the soil 
Some may take time to develop roots, like it will take them weeks. Some may take days only, but you know, when you're propagating, you have to be patient. Another tip is you cannot put them in a low light space. Since these babies are still training to be independent, we can help them by placing them in a bright spot where they can reach for uh, indirect sunlight during the morning so they could easily produce food of their own. Well, I guess those are just some of the tips I could give you for now. If you have uh, any other tips you would like to share, feel free to comment below. I would really appreciate that. And I hope these babies will thrive on me. I will give you an update probably after a few weeks or so. I'll be honest with you if some of them didn't make it or so. I really enjoy propagating. You know, it's fun and easy to do. And also, it's really the cheapest way on how to get more plants if you're really aiming for that hashtag urban jungle i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and also learned something about propagation if you have questions about today's episode feel free to comment below i'll be happy to answer your questions if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share this and subscribe to my channel for more episodes of living a plant little life Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on my next episode. Bye, yours! I'm gonna eat the tail. I'm not going to eat the tail. And it was tangy. I don't know what I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat the tail. What's the tail? Kiti-kiti! Ayun! It's two to three weeks. Malaki na yung... I mean, mahaba na yung soil niya. Ah! Ah! Ay, ang ganda. Ang ganda.